I'm awake. I open my eyes slowly, just in case this has all just been a dream. I actually dreamt that I was in a moderately sized room and I was sleeping in a very comfortable bed with white candle-wicked duvet and a crocheted pillow next to my side. Maybe... maybe I'm still there. <sighs> no. I'm still here. The wall is still wooden before me and... <gasps> the person! The chair! Are they still here? D did they hurt me? I, I don't think so. I don't feel any different. Well, my feet have just have stopped aching, which is wonderful. And I don't feel pain anyway. Maybe, maybe they were just in my room to see if they could steal the gold. I still have the bag gripped to my chest and it still feels as heavy as yesterday. So I don't think that any gold was taken. I turn around. So slowly. No. No, there's no one there. Whoever it was that decided to enter at that late hour, they, they didn't seem to do any damage, so no harm done, I suppose. I walked to the front counter to see the owner smiling broadly at me. Hello, love. Did you sleep well? I smile sweetly and I'm about to ask about ablution facilities when she interjects. I'm boiling some water over the fire for you. I'll ask one of the lads to take it to your room when you're ready. You won't, you won't be able to bath, but I'm sure you'll work something out. I'm sure that you're used to a much fancier establishment, but, but this is mine. And I'm proud of it. My name is Hannah, by the way. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Well, well the honour is mine, surely, I reply. She seems to approve of my answer very much, and she slips past me and calls to someone outside. Suddenly, a tightness grips at my chest. What? What if, what if she is being as kind as she is, as her prices are exorbitant? What if she's about to take everything I own? There you go, love. You'll be able to freshen up very soon. Just give Sean a few minutes, won't you? Hannah, I ask tentatively. About the rates of the room. Oh, please don't worry about that, love. But I am worried, I insist. She looks at me. Confused. That, that I don't share the same knowledge that she does. It's already been paid for, love. I said not to worry about it. But who... Never ask a stone its colour. That's what Mama always taught me. Leave things be, love. If someone kind has placed you, then leave things be, alright? Now onto that hot water with you, before it gets cold, okay? The water is boiling hot, but I'm able to wash myself well enough. The innkeeper even provided a rudimentary sponge and towel. Definitely not as soft as I thought it would be, but it works well enough. After my wash, I rub some of what smells like herbal cream onto my skin. I don't really want to know what it's made of, but it makes my skin feel soft and fresh, so, so I'm not complaining. Ugh. Oh, that feels better. 
Now I feel like a new person. I make my way to the front again and I see Hannah's face blossom into a smile. She doesn't look disingenuous and I'm actually grateful for her friendliness. Now isn't that better, love? Oh yes, thank you. I pause for a brief moment, looking at Hannah, not knowing how to ask. Hannah, may I please ask what year this is? Her face doesn't seem to be shocked at this question, merely amused. Well, I'm not going to ask why you seem so strange, love. Blue is the color of the sky, as Mama always used to say. It's the seventh day of the year of teal, just before the harvest season. You're in the village of Shadowfields, in the Snow Mountain realm. Another pause. I need to gather my thoughts. I have no idea what she's speaking about. Where is she speaking about? The year she's speaking about. Uh, who, who am, who am I? I ask very slowly. I, I don't know if I even want to know the answer to this. Who are you? Well, that's something that I hoped you would tell me. Your benefactor seems to think you're important. But the fact that you don't even know who you are is definitely one for the scrolls. <laughs> she lets out a giggle that I don't find amusing. I feel so s confused. There's so many questions that I need to ask, but I can't seem to find the words to them. Hannah, would I be able to walk around the village? Sure, love, sure. Just stay clear of the ha stone house at the top of the path. She leans in closer, ever ready to share her secret. Some say that it's haunted. Haunted. I thank her, and I leave the house. The sun on my skin feels pleasant as I walk down the path. Long, lush, thick bladed grass can be seen under every house, which are both tightly packed against each other on the right and on the left of the path. Someone ahead is busy tending their garden and on seeing me takes takes off his cap and bows down. In response I curtsy and a blush paints his cheeks as he smiles. Oh how sweet and how quaint this village is. Walking further down the path the row of houses ends and a green field begins. I wonder what they are growing in those fields. It, it doesn't seem to look like anything I recognize. Wait a minute. Is that... I think that I see a child in the middle of the field staring out towards the distant trees. Something compels me to walk towards her. She doesn't look at me as I approach her. Hello, darling, I say, trying to be as friendly as possible. What is that that you're looking at? Do you see them? There between the trees. I squint my eyes. I can't see anything. She turns her head to look at me. Fear gripped on her face. They're coming for you. Suddenly I hear a shrill scream from behind me. 